Welcome back guys to American Farming. Now we've just been farming and in this video I actually want to go over all the off-road vehicles. There's four different vehicles. There's a utility ATV, race ATV, three-wheeler, and dirt bike. Two of them can do like flips and tricks and wheelies and stuff like that. And since it's May and we got everything done, we got two AI workers working on tillage, got all the cattle fed, and grain prices right now are kind of low. It's May. So I'm like what better time to kick summer off by going and doing a little off-roading. So I'm gonna take you guys to a campground. We're gonna load up all of our ATVs, dirt bikes, and do some off-road and mess around with these things. Let's get into it. Okay, I got me and Bo and we're on the utility quad. So first things, I'm gonna just check on the AI worker, making sure he's doing a fine job. And then we're gonna load these things up. And I kind of want to like, this to be an information video where I show you guys all about these off-road ATVs too. Yep, Bob is doing good. We're gonna let Bobby do his thing, keep running some tillage with the land all. And I still gotta buy a dirt bike and I still have to buy a three-wheeler. So we're gonna go grab the pickup truck, grab the maxi trailer and load these things up. Now, if you're looking for farm in this video this isn't going to be farming this is going to be specifically focused on some off-roading next video will be some farming and of course if you're looking for farm sim we have videos every other american farm video on farm sim especially the mine series because i know a lot of people have been enjoying the mining series okay we're gonna pull up to the dealer and i gotta buy a trailer a dirt bike and three-wheeler because i have the two quads first things first what type of trailer do we buy this is going to be specifically used for like farming and just hauling these off-road vehicles we could buy the 30-foot flatbed or we could even buy the 40 foot i want to be able to fit all of our i'll call it toys on here at once you could fit them on 30 foot but the way stuff stores and trailers in this game i think i need the 40 foot here let's see what other options we got well i could fit it on a 30 foot deck over two that'd probably work i mean do we need a semi to haul four quads probably not okay i think we're gonna go with a 40 foot ldx flatbed we're gonna purchase this and i'm sure a 30 foot would work like i said and then if we go to the off-road section guys these are all dlc we have the utility atv we have the race ATV and then we have the dirt bike now the race ATV and dirt bike can both do flips and wheelies the three-wheeler cannot the three wheelers just to be able to ride around so I'm gonna buy the dirt bike and then we're gonna buy the three-wheeler also so we have one of each okay so we'll hook up to the max D trailer get that connected and then I don't know if you guys know this but to get the ramps down you actually have to like walk up to them and then you get an icon and then if you can never figure out how to like unattach detach something like you have two trailers you got to walk up to the hitch and manually detach it I could have Dale load us up, but last time Dale loaded us up, some freaky stuff happened. So we're just going to load this stuff up ourselves. First things first, the three wheeler. Oh! Okay, right there. There we go. And then basically, just press the lock button and it puts it in its place right towards the front. And we'll throw the dirt bike up. Should be good. Okay, we're gonna hit the lock button and it's gonna put it in its place. We could probably fit like five or six different like ATVs and dirt bikes on here, I bet. We have room for a lot more, but this is fine. This will work. And then we'll fold up the ramp. Perfect. I just love the suspension. Like we're not squatted down heavy, but you can see the trucks like squatted down. And then when you go over like hills and stuff, I gotta start slowing down. But when you go over hills or through ditches, you can see the truck suspension. Look at that. Oh power line gosh i love that okay we're gonna get our other quads loaded up here fold down the ramps oh son of a gun there we go we'll get the race quad loaded on up okay first things first outfit change real quick when you unlock the off-road pack there's a bunch of helmets and like motocross stuff that comes with it we're going the squad built cut off jeans and a helmet yeah that should work good actually yolo we're running tuxedo with the motocross helmet heck yeah actually never mind never mind we need to be realistic we're gonna run camo that is very realistic or ready to rock and roll. Now, in case you guys don't know, there's actually an off-roading park. If you take this paved road all the way down pretty much to the dead end, then you take a right, we're gonna find the off-road park. There's a bunch of jumps and like, there's even like a hill climb trail. That'll be interesting to see how these ATVs perform. There is so much DLC that could be added to the game. Tell me down in the comment sections, like what you guys wanna see. Obviously, there's a bunch of farm equipment DLC that needs to be added. I think it'd be cool to add more trucks and stuff like that, but let me know what you guys wanna see as far as DLC added because the world's endless with possibilities to add to this game. So let me know. Can you go through these road signs? Okay, yeah, you can go through the road sign. So just plow over the road sign with your pickup truck and then take a right down through here. And this is the off-road park. It has a bunch of jumps. It has kind of what I'll call a track. I don't know how official it is, but we're going to take the truck down in it if I don't get stuck. Okay. I don't know if this is the way down here, but we're doing it anyways. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we are bottoming out so bad. There we go. She is squatting. Look at that suspension go. Oh gosh. What is this? What is 
this. I'm pretty sure our, tra yeah, our trailer's just completely caught up on the hill. We got our rear wheel spinning, but the fronts aren't kicking in right now. And I'm full throttle. Okay, we got to back her up a little bit and give her another go. But this is the only way to get to the what I call the parking spot. You could see the trucks like lifted up because the trailer's literally like lifting the truck up. It looks like the truck has a lift kit on it right now. Okay, new game plan. I'm going to back down here and then get a bunch of speed going up through that hill. Come on, come on. It just stopped in the water. Okay, boys, we found the limit to the truck. I can't pull it with this gooseneck up here. We got to back her up. It's getting caught down there. Come on, man. The diesel. Okay, I might be stuck. I might be really stuck right now. Son of a gun. Okay, we got out of there. Be careful pulling the 40 foot here because it bottoms out. And that's the toughest thing. It's not meant to go through this off-road park. You got to be careful. And it's already nighttime. You can see it's already dark before I got to our camping spot. This is technically next to a field, but it's like river bottom ground where it's completely flat out here. So I think this is where we're going to camp her out, wait for morning, start ripping the quad, the race quad, the dirt bike, and the three-wheeler. <laughs> It's next morning, guys. We changed our outfit a little bit, changed the helmet, and first things first, we got the utility quad. I'm not gonna ride that first. We're just gonna park it off to the side. The thing that's nice about this game, it's not just a rock of a physics, and there's actually physics where you can do wheelies, dirt bikes, and you got like suspension on the vehicles, which is super nice. And I do have to say, I am affiliated with Squad Built Inc., which is the creator of this game. Okay, we got all four of these off. Now for the off-road park, the race ATV, which is right here, and the dirt bike are gonna be the best. You can get more air, you can do flips, you can do wheelies, stuff like that the three-wheeler and utility atv are gonna work decent so we're gonna first test those and at the end of this i'm gonna give one of these a score of the most fun off-road vehicle to drive like if i had to choose one this is the one i'd do okay first up the utility quad suspension is good pros you can pull the header trailer around with it in a couple like little trailers around with this it only goes 37 mile an hour though but it gets some air come on baby oh yeah i can get some air okay the suspension is insane like all vehicles in this game on the utility quad. You can't do any flips, you can't do any back flips, but you can get some pretty good air with it. Okay, rock climbing. How does it climb rocks? Easy. Let's see how this climbs. Look at that. And it doesn't even get stuck on it. The top speed on this is 38 mile an hour. So I think the dirt bike goes like 50 and I think the race ATV goes 50. This only goes 38. It'd be nice to see it go 50. I mean, 38 is good, but uh, 50 would be nice. Okay, I'm taking over to the hill climb to see the power on the hill because there's like a hill climb over here on the backside too. If you guys want to know where we're at, we're at the way bottom left corner of this map. See, this is kind of where there's like a camping area and there's just kind of a bunch of just random trails through here that you can ride through. And there's a couple different rocks. Again, rocks. This ATV just walks right up it. Easy peasy. Okay, hill climb time. There's a couple of hill climb trails. There's one that's straight up here and then there's one that's off to the side here. We'll do the one off to the side, see if it can climb it. I'm guessing it has no problem climbing it, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, easily climbs it. Okay, now the question is, there's even, it gets steeper right here. There's like two tiers. Can I make it up to the top of there? Let's see if we can make it. There we go. Okay, I'm just going full throttle, ripping straight up it. Okay, we made it up the first tier. Come on. Oh, easy, easy. <laughs> okay, we're going up another one. Yeah, this thing just rips. It has all the power you need. I don't even think you can flip this. Like, I think I think it's super hard to flip this we're gonna find out oh baby oh baby oh baby oh baby oh my gosh yep still haven't flipped it <laughs> holy crap the utility atv i'm gonna rate a 9 out of 10 honestly 10 out of 10 if it's for utility because you can do everything you need besides you can't do a flip or wheelie that's it and plus the dog can actually hop on there with you next we're going dirt bike because i think this is one of my favorites now when i'm driving these guys i'm using a controller and controller is so nice to play this game with it just works so darn good flip flip you can just hit fl you can just keep spamming flips if you want now the dirt bike i do like the feel like when you get in the air and you just hit a nice you know smooth jump we'll call it it just feels realistic especially for a mobile game it feels realistic i'm just kind of ripping the track along here and you can control your speed i'm just using the controller to control my speed pretty nice there you go hit up here i mean it just feels good i love the way it tilts side to side especially when you're in the air and then you come out to the flats and you can rip your wheelie. I'm going to rip a wheelie all the way across the field. Man, it feels weird when you're looking at the texture. It feels like we're floating. What the heck? Doesn't that look weird? Oh my gosh, look at the ground. It looks so weird. It like messes with your eyes. Okay, now we're just going to go straight to the two-tier hill climb right above here. We're not even going to do the dirt hill climb. We're just going to go straight up here. Let's see if it can do it. Let me go full throttle into it. 
Okay, oh dude, we just hopped over the first tier there. We just didn't even hit the second tier. We just shot right across it. Okay, that was actually pretty fun. I want to see if we can do it again. That was smooth. That was really smooth. If I get more speed off to the start, I, I'm not sure where we hit that, but if I get more speed, we'll easily be able to shoot this. Let's see. Ah, nope, we didn't even make it. Okay, we're doing it again. Here we go. Nope, didn't make it. You have to hit the hill climb in a certain spot. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. We cleared it, we cleared it with the smooth lane and two. The dirt bike guys, I would say, I like riding in first person view when I'm riding these vehicles. Now, they can't be used for anything useful to like make money or anything like that, but they're just fun to rip around is all I see for the benefit. You got wheelies, you got flips, you got everything. Okay, I'm gonna give the dirt bike a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm leaving 0.5 off is because I think it could be a little more zippier. I think it could have a little more throttle going up there. It just doesn't take off on the low end that much. Top end's there. Of course, it does like 55, 60, or what it do, 50, but the low end just doesn't take off as much. So I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. I don't like the three wheeler as much, so we're gonna go to the race quad next. I don't think the race quad actually goes as fast as the dirt bike. Ooh, I like the first person of it. It doesn't turn as good as the dirt bike, though. It feels like I don't have as much control when I'm riding. Dirt bike, I feel very smooth. I feel like I can rip it around. The race quad, mm, feels like it throws me around a little more, but you can do flips with it. <laughs> we're going over the tree. I do love the flipping system. Okay, since this is an ATV, we're just gonna do a rock, just a small, small rock climb test. See if it does as good as the utility ATV because this is two wheel drive. Utility ATV was four wheel drive and it seems to do just as good. Can pretty much climb over anything. Not getting stuck, right as I say, it's not getting stuck, we get stuck. Come on, okay, back her up, there we go. Okay. Okay, hill climb time. Does this have as much zip as the dirt bike? I don't think so. It doesn't feel like it has as much power. We're gonna see how it handles the hill climb here. Full throttle. Come on, come on. It didn't feel like, yeah, it didn't feel like we had enough power getting up there. And it doesn't wanna turn up into the hill, finally. Okay, let's try that again. Backflip. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna hurt. Boom. Here we go. We're gonna get speed. We're gonna see if she has the zip to get up there. Full throttle going into it. I'm gonna hit it right in the perfect spot. Flip. It just doesn't get up there. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. We can't even make it up the hill. It's like the utility ATV actually felt better trying to climb this hill. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, baby. Don't get me wrong. I like this, but it just doesn't feel like the turning's as good as the dirt bike, and it feels like it has less power than the dirt bike. I'm going to give the race ATV a 8.5 out of 10. That doesn't mean the utility ATV is better. They're different classes, but I feel like compared to the dirt bike, especially the turning's not there, and it doesn't feel like it has as much power. So I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Last but not least, the three-wheeler, which these have been outlawed in real life just because they're so gosh darn dangerous. You can't do flips, and you can't do wheelies on this thing it's pretty darn standard and it only goes 40 mile an hour which is kind of slow it's cool it does turn pretty darn aggressively i feel like it has better handling than the race atv that's for sure it just feels different i don't know how to describe it, it feels like a three-wheeler even though i've never ridden one this feels very unstable it feels like the back end sliding out it feels like it wants to tip <laughs> it does want to tip and then we'll head on over to the hill climb guys i don't think this is gonna even make it up check out this rock i don't think it's gonna want to climb this rock even okay well let's try to climb this rock how about it does it it kind of does okay i'm gonna say it i don't think it climbs this hill at all we're gonna see here we go full throttle going into it come on come on nope 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 come on there we go if we get enough speed we can climb this come on come on there we go we made it it definitely has the least power of, out of them all that's for sure okay i'm gonna give the three-wheeler a seven out of ten i feel like it could have more power better handling but that's realistic for a three-wheeler too of course a four-wheeled vehicle with four-wheel drive is gonna climb a hill way better than a three-wheeler that's very unstable and only has two-wheel drive if i had to choose one to use it's probably gonna be the dirt bike just to ride around dirt bike by far is the funnest then comes i'm gonna say utility atv even though it doesn't have any flips or wheelies or anything like that that thing has some power and it's pretty gosh darn fun to ride around okay we got everything loaded up gonna hop in the truck and head on back if we can get out of here somehow we'll find a way and she is squad i think i might be able to get out of here this way actually yeah there's a trail that leads back through here and just winds around and then i think it goes to a paved road oh yeah perfect no cop, no stop. Don't do that in real life though. Trust me, don't. I'm just joking. Don't do that in real life. Okay, we're gonna park in town, grab something to eat real quick, 
at Joe's Diner. And then I think you got Buck's Apartments right here. And then you got Molly's Flowers and Gifts. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this American Farming video. Thanks so much for watching. And I wanted to give you guys a preview of all the off-road stuff. Give you my thoughts on the best off-road vehicle. So yeah, we'll be back with a farm sim vid. And then probably American Farming next. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.